Hey, welcome back to the channel. Do you have a PlayStation 4 controller that the buttons seem a little gummy or you're getting some random button presses? Well, there could be a few things wrong with it. It could have a bad membrane, the carbon paths could be dirty, the internal ribbon cable could be worn out, or it could just be full of old Cheeto dust. But fortunately, it's not a hard procedure to pop one of those things open and clean it out. So, if you stick around, we'll show you how to get that done. All right, on the bench today, we kind of have a simple one. It's a PS4 controller. Um, this one was sent over by the, the local used game store. Um, it came in on trade and basically a couple of the, the D-pad buttons feel like they're stuck or they're sticking. So he asked me to, to do a cleanup on it. And I've actually had a few requests for a simple how to open, how to clean kind of video on, on some of these controllers. So I figured this is a great time to just go ahead and do this one because I'm waiting on parts for a Nintendo Switch. So I had to put that one aside today. So anyway, let's get into it. Uh, the PS4 is pretty easy to get into compared to like an Xbox. You only have four screws on the back and then it's kind of held with clips and, and we'll just use a, a standard spudger to get into it. So let's get into it. And you can see that you know, sometimes these ones that get traded in are a little on the funky side. So we don't know what we're going to find in it. All right, with the screws out, let's just, we'll give it a little test. You can see how the bottom shell comes apart from the top shell. And usually they're hung up right in these top corners and then down around here. So let's go ahead and just kind of pull it apart, hold it, get a spudger down in there. Let's see if it pops, and it does. So that side popped apart. Keep a little pressure on it, come down around the joysticks. And she popped apart. Now you don't wanna just yank them because there is a ribbon cable on these. It will pull out. You don't need a bale or anything. And if you go to put one of these together, just remember the contacts, the actual copper contacts on this go out. Now, if you had a charging problem, we'd take this apart and we'd get this board out. And you can see I change those out too once in a while. That's, that's a broken one from the other day. So we'll just set that aside for a second. And we'll go ahead and get our battery out. It's just a little double-sided tape holding it and holding it in. And, you can unplug it. And then we have one screw here. And more or less, that holds the board and all the guts into the uh, top half. Battery tray out of the way. One more ribbon cable. Just be gentle when you pull it, but it, this one does give you a tab to grab from. Just make sure that tab goes down in to the board. Like that. You don't want to, sometimes when they're held up, if you yank on it, you can, you can rip it. And that's from our touchpad. So just, you know, whenever you go to take it out, just tip it up, make sure it's facing down. We'll set that aside for a second. Now, this actually is in pretty nice shape. I don't see a whole lot of issue here. Um, triggers just pop in and out. Uh, this membrane, if you're having uh, issues, um, these can be changed pretty easy and inexpensive. Uh, but the easiest way to deal with them, you know, even if something gets spilled inside, little alcohol, Q-tip, clean our contacts. 
Now, if you do order a ribbon for your PS4 controller, there are a couple versions of it. Same thing with the PS3. There's a couple versions of that ribbon. So, okay, so that looks pretty good. There's, there's nothing spilled in there. Um, so let's come back to our, our shell. Our touch sensor, if you tip it back, it will come out and we can get out of our way. And I'm gonna assume all of our problems are in here with something spilled in it. And yeah, you know, we can here, you can already see, you know, there's pet hair and there's fuzz and all kind of other junk in there. So you know, here again, little alcohol does wonders. Oh yeah. <laughs> There was a lot, of, a lot of junk in that corner. And that's probably all that was holding this one up. Um, and sometimes that's all it takes, you know, but Q-tips, alcohol, a little bit of love, you know, most of the time these controllers come back with no problem. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm gonna get a closer inspection. That looks pretty good. And then we can uh, get a clean one. Clean the carbon pads. Oh, well, here's another problem. These are all ripped up. So, I know I've got some parts laying around. I'm gonna go find us a new pad and I'll be right back. Okay, I uh, went through my parts bins and I found a few uh, good membranes. This does not happen very often where, um, especially on the Sony units, uh, it's only, I've only ever come across a couple like this where this button actually separates from, from the membrane. Um, when that happens, obviously it's gonna feel spongy and you're gonna get some unusual D-pad or button presses. Uh, and it's basically because <laughs> that one just fell off completely. The black part on this is is obviously our contact that that uh, closes the circuit in on our membrane. And the basically the little pyramid on what it's standing on and, and where it's separated from is essentially the button clicky spot. You know, it, it kind of curves down like this. So for this to happen, um, I don't want to say this one was defective, but this is a lot of button pushes. So that one could be right in the trash can. And uh, obviously since, uh, you know, we found some stuff spilled down inside here, we're going to go ahead and just, you know, make sure these openings are clean since we're, you know, when you return it to the customer, or in this case, the shop, uh, you know, they, they're going to want it uh, to be kind of nice and clean and customers always appreciate that anyway. And you'd be amazed what collects down in here. I mean, look at that, just a few swipes. And uh, of course, with uh, our current situation with the pandemic, alcohol is a great thing to clean with because, you know, it kills germs and whatever other nasty stuff you might find down in here. So we'll just give her a, a real quick cleaning. This membrane is actually in really nice shape, but none of the buttons were hanging up. So we can just put that all back together. Like that. We can set that aside for a second. We're not gonna use this membrane, but we will need this one. And on that note, we can just put this back. These don't go in any specific way on the d-pad uh, the membrane doesn't have a, a specific way either but obviously the buttons do so we can keep our triangle circle x and square in the proper locations the nice thing is they're keyed so uh, you don't have to remember exactly which 
spot they were in. And we can put our touchpad back in, same way it came out, tip it under, roll it in flat. That's all you gotta do. <clears throat> and since we didn't have any issues with this, we don't have to deal with any of this uh, disassembly of, of any of these parts. And if you've got it apart and you, you want new caps, as you can see, these just simply pull off. It's not hard to replace them. And uh, obviously if you're changing the stick, which I believe I have a video on it. Um, I know I have one for the Xbox. I don't know if I did one on the PS4, but here's the contact points that you're gonna desolder. Um, basically these three and these three are the rheostats on the side. There's six points that are anchors and then these four points are our switch. All right, so reassembly of the top shell is pretty straightforward. Make sure our triggers are in the right place. So this ribbon cable needs to come up through this opening here, because that's the connector. So you might have to Use a pair of tweezers and get her into position. And sometimes it's just a tad fiddly. That all drops down. Now we don't put our screw in yet you gotta put the ribbon in first. Like I said, there's this nice tab you can grab it from and push it in. Black line will go the whole way down. Battery tray back on. This goes over top of this little button. That's our reset. And then one screw holds that all back together. As you can see, they're a lot easier to get in and out of uh, compared to like an Xbox controller. I'm not saying it's a good, you know, Xbox is, is not good or anything. It's just that these are pretty simple and straightforward. Don't want to forget our battery. Plug it in. Oh yeah, that's much better. Everything's working. Now, if the reason I had mentioned before that the contacts are gonna go out is because I've gotten into a lot of these where they're not charging or they're doing other things incorrectly. And, uh, you know, I've discovered that somebody had already been inside of them and uh, the cable was in wrong. <laughs> um, or the cable's just in knots. So, uh, a little bit of cleanup here on the bottom of this trigger. This isn't going to be the best shot, but the ribbon goes back in, contacts out. Like that. Now this the, L the LED for our light is down on the charge. Matter of fact, it's right here. It's that little bar. And this little window comes up and lights the top of this. Some people, uh, the newer controllers had it, the old controllers didn't. But that little window has to slide up right in behind there. And when that happens, the whole controller snaps together. And last thing's our screws. All right, there it is. As you can see, PS4, nice and simple. You can get into it, you can change those membranes, you can clean the contacts, you can clean out a gummy stick, change a stick, and uh, you know, in and out of it in no time. So, on that note, <laughs> if you have a request for any content you'd like to see, 
Regardless if it's simple or complex, go ahead and make those comments down below. And while you're at it, why don't you give us a thumbs up? Also, I'd appreciate anybody watching and enjoying my content to hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.